This is a really short screencast to demonstrate the new DICOM exploration and reading and writing functionality in the new Divide 8.5. So let's say you have a local collection of DICOM files such as this one over here. Let's zoom into some of the Cyrix sample datasets. You'll see that we have many nested directories and inside of these nested directories we have a number of slices packed in DCM files full of metadata. It can be quite hard to find the volume that you would like to process. So that's why I've made the DICOM browser in Divide. So let's instantiate this module. There it is. We just pointed at, in this case, the Osiris directory, but we could add any number of semicolon separated directories and file names also by using the add directories and add files dialog boxes. So when I'm happy with what I've added, I can do a scan. It's in general quite quick. And what DICOM browser does, it goes and analyzes that complete directory hierarchy, fishing out every single DCM file and analyzing it for the metadata. And by using all of this, it can collect together all of the various different studies um, and the series that are contained in your collection of files. So here you can see I'm scrolling through different studies. Each study is associated to a specific patient. And one can see all the metadata over here, study-wide. And when I select a study, I see the series which are part of that study. And once again, in the same way, I can go through the series. And for each series, I then see the file names that belong to that series. And if I select a file name, it gets updated in this viewer window over here. Just zoom in there and there's lock that. So in this way I can scroll through this complete data set and for each and every data file I can also see the DICOM specific metadata down here in the metadata box. Okay, so what happens if I want to load some of this data for further processing with more divide modules? Well, let's do that. Let's say I like this one and the one over here. So let's have a look there. Let's just increase that slightly. I can zoom in nicely like this. Let's scroll through that. So let's say I want to load this volume for further processing. I can use a DICOM reader for that. See, empty list box that should be filled by DICOM file names. Let's open up the browser again. And I can just drag that whole series by selecting it over here. Oops, not there. I mean... Here, of course, dragging the whole series and dropping it on the DICOM reader. And you'll see it's now automatically been filled by the file names which are part of that series. So now I've loaded that data set. Let's just give it something to visualize. In this case, a slice 3D viewer. There we go. And now we've loaded in that whole series as a volume and we can continue processing with any of the other divide modules. So that was the preview. Get it all in the new open source divide 8.5.